What's up, guys? Dustin, you here. Back with NHL 13 GM mode number three with the Winnipeg Jets. And we are in the offseason, and we're going to do our re-sign. We had a terrible draft. Well, not terrible, but um, kind of disappointing. Uh, we didn't get Ekblad or the goalie, whatever the heck his name was. I don't remember what his name was. Um, but, you know what? I'm down to try and trade for them. But we got to do the uh, re-sign first, and then we'll try and do that. <laughs> so we need some players to re-sign. Got some guys to re-sign, and then we should be golden. Golden, you know? Good to go. Uh, go to contracts. Yeah, and... Uh, oh, Jason Gregoire is up. Oh, I totally forgot about him. Uh, okay. Alright. More Jaffrey. Stasny needs to be re-signed. So Gregor, tender qualifying. Just gonna tender all the guys we need to tender here first. Klingberg, tender. Chariot, Lazar. Oh wow, we don't have that many players to resign actually, so that's good. Um, we have nine point seven four million. Okay. Uh, okay, so we need Sazny. That's our top priority right now. He's probably gonna want a lot of money. Yeah. Five years. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, five years, 6.2. So it'd be uh, probably 5. Point, could probably get him down to 5.5, .5, I would think. That should be about right. No. No, 5.6. Now yeah, let's try 5.5, .5, see if we can get him down to that. See if that works. Because, like, I kind of need him to get down there, you know? Dominic Moore, I want to re sign, but I want to hold off. Wellwood. Uh, Wellwood should be a two way, I think. Yeah, so Wellwood doesn't matter. Uh, Slater doesn't matter. I kind of just. I'll just keep these, like, two way guys. It doesn't really matter. Jaffrey should be a two way. Yep. Um. Meech will be a two-way. Let's just get these guys out of the way first. It's fine. Our a AHL team does like half decent, so uh, yeah, we'll just get all these two-way guys out of the friggin' way and uh, not worry about it right now. Redman, he's gonna want a two-way. Da -da 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 -da. Maxwell's gonna want a two-way. Uh, Gregoire. Odell is gonna want a two-way. Uh, Shwinar is going to want a 2A. We've traded quite a few players too, so if I sign some rookies, it's not really a big deal either. Uh, Klingberg might. Or I'm just going to check him out. I think he. Oh, he only wants a 2A too. Uh, yeah, I'm totally. I'm actually down with that. That's fine. I'll just sign him to it. Another year. Chariot. That's good. Whatever. I can trade some of these guys too, it's not really a big deal at this moment. Um, and for the rest of these guys, that doesn't really matter. Uh, Pasquale needs to be re-signed. Goalies. Pasquale is the only guy that needs to be re-signed. It's too bad you can't extend contracts, that'd be so much, that'd be so nice. Okay, Pasquale, we're gonna tender. And he should want a two-way anyways, but yeah, okay. Alright, so let's sim ahead a day. And hopefully we can just sign everybody and get this done really fast. And, uh, yeah, hope for the best. The only guy we need to worry about is Stasny right now. And other than that, then it's like Dominic Moore, Wellwood. Um, uh, the way our lines are going, well, our, uh, Dominic Moore is going to be a fourth liner. Same with Wellwood. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But, yeah, we should be able to sign all of our... All of our two A's for sure, because you know you just give them what they ask for. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't take take away from your cap at all. So. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm well, would Paul Stasny? Oh yeah. Okay, Paul Stasny for five point five. That's good for five years. And yep. Okay, so we got everybody basically. Um, now. Uh, all skaters. So there's Dominic Moore and Jason Gregoire. So Gregoire, we're going to sign for sure. Um, 
kind of want to extend his contract a little bit. Let's go with three. Wait, he's 25. Let's try. Let's see if we can get it for five years at three million. Like he's a three-star player. I don't think he's going to get that great, but we'll try and get him for four years for three million. And then the other one was Dominic Moore. Now, if we don't sign him, we don't sign him. Uh, yeah, we should be able to sign him though. 1.5. Let's do 1.5. Uh, let's try 1.4. We'll see if he'll take that. Whatever. If he doesn't, he doesn't. You know, he, though, we only have two players to sign, so I'm not really too concerned about it. Uh, Greg Wire could be a bust. Like he might get better or he might not. You know, it's kind of hard to tell. He's he's only a three-star player, so an 82 as a three-star player is pretty good. Easy decision. Yeah. Uh, reject. Offer was not enough. Okay. Uh, like Dominic Moore is going to be a solid uh, third liner for us, but or fourth liner, sorry. I kind of have it set how our lines are going to be right now, but I need to kind of double check because I'm pretty sure our first line is going to end up Kane, Stasny, Druin, and then our second line is going to be Shifley, uh, Little, and uh, and Tarasenko. Easy decision. There we go. And then our third line will end up uh, Burmistrov. Yeah, so here I'll show you guys. Uh, here's what I have in mind. So Druin, Stasny, and Kane will be our first line. Druin, Stasny, Kane. Uh, second line will be Little. I think he's a first line, but... Uh, oh, no, he's counted as a second line. That's good. So Little... Um, ooh, that's the problem. Yeah, I forgot about uh, Gregoire. Little, oh man, that sucks. Mm, we're gonna have to trade somebody. Maybe we'll trade Gregoire. I don't want to trade him, but his value might go up because he's an 82, right? Uh, yeah, the plan was Little, Shifley, and Tarasenko as our second line, but we have Gregoire, who's actually better than Tarasenko. Mm, but Tarasenko obviously is younger and has a better potential, so I'd rather keep him. I mean, Gregoire obviously is a success story at a three-star player, but and then the fourth line or the third line plan is Burmistrov, uh, Burmistrov, Wheeler, and Lad, and then our fourth line would be like Cormier, Moore, and Wellwood probably. I think. Wow, my voice just totally cracked there. Mietnin's gonna play in the AHL. I'd like to see if Klingberg gets better. He is a red player, so eh, that means that means that he can't reach his full potential, or he doesn't have the best chance of reaching it. Yellow is like a pretty good chance of reaching your potential, and green is like the best. So, um, yeah, Galchenyuk's good to go in the AHL, so he should play well. Domi should be good to go in the AHL. Uh, some of these guys should be good to go. Um, left wing wise, nope, uh, right wings, yeah, that should be fine. Okay, defense, here's the other question. Bufflin, Hamilton, Bogo, Leopold, Hainsey, Postma, Enstrom. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I think we're going to have to trade, I think I'm going to get rid of Enstrom. Postma fits the top six, that's fine. Uh, and like, look at the cap difference between these two players. Look at that, like, oh my god, like $4 million. Hainsey, you know, he's still a good top six for sure. He's an 84. Leopold and Bogo, you know, I kind of was hoping Bogo would get a little bit better. Uh, I mean, it's still possible, right? Like, it's possible, but he's a top four, so that fits the bill. And Hamilton, obviously, is going to be playing uh, top two because he's an 86 overall. So he's going to be playing with Big Buff on the first line there. That's the plan. And then Bogo still fits the top four, so... He's not a top two D man yet. Obviously, there's the hope he gets better, but we don't know yet. But him and Leopold, like Leopold, even got better as he was an 84 last year, so that's good. And then goalies, obviously, Pavlik got better, so he's an 86 now. He's a solid goalie. I can't give him like can't knock him for that. And then Nabokov, you know, he's a great backup. Hopefully, Pasquale gets better than a 69 this year. I don't know. We'll find out. Um. Uh, as for our other rookies that we need to sign, they're unsigned. Uh, this guy I'm going to sign, Fabry. Uh, 
about three years. Yeah, that's good. He's a three and a half, like he's a three and a half star guy. Uh, same with this guy. If anything, they're gonna be good trade, trade value like bait. Um, Kanzig. He's not doing it. Neither is this guy Connolly. Um, done. See, like three stars, like my cutoff. I don't, I don't really trust the fact that. Uh, I mean, like obviously Gregoire got better, but two and a half stars just kind of, kind of the iffy. It's like eh, I don't know about that, you know. Um, I feel like that's good though. Yeah, we should be good. All right, so let's just simidate. All those guys should sign. And then we'll do the free agency next time. And maybe we can trade. And it was an honor for me to you won't regret your decision to draft me. Yep, yep. Um, I want, I'm pretty sure that Gregoire actually fits. I'm pretty sure he's a second line player. That's the only problem. I think he's a second line player. Yes, he is. Look at his shooting though. Wow. Man, he got really good. Oh man, I used to. I actually used to play against Jason Gregoire back in AAA. Uh, he played for the Monarchs. I played for the Hawks. He was a really good player. I wasn't. <laughs> I mean, I was okay, but I was more of a like kind of a power forward grinder type player. He was obviously the the scorer type. Um, so yeah, it's working out for him obviously in our GM here. Uh, Wheeler and Lad. That's it. Oh man. And they're both they're they're both second line players too. Uh, so I feel like they're gonna go downhill. I mean, the question is, I could trade Wheeler Wheeler or Lad. Um, and then there's the rotation trick. We could rotate Gregoire and uh, Tarasenko on the second line. That's a possibility because I mean, they still get that second line playing time. But they also get the third line playing time. So, uh, Druin. Oh my God, Druin is going to be so sexy. Oh, look at his shooting. <gasps> my God, he's so dirty right now. He's so filthy. Oh my God, he was the best first round pick I've ever had. So good. I'm so happy I let him like get better that one year. Shifley, you know that's perfect. Well, that's exactly where I want him. Um, very happy about him. But yeah, all right, so we should be good to go. We'll do the uh, free agency next time. And basically all I think I'm going to do in the free agency is make some trades possibly because we really don't need anybody, and we can get rid of some players. All right, so we'll do that. Thanks for watching, guys.